morning, DC. It's Craig here, and um, it is 7.44 in the morning, and I just wanted to do this video that Aaron Mother Alomar um, put out. It's a thread um, in regards to super grails. Um, before I get started, please um, put this on pause and go check out Aaron Mother Alomar's um, channel out. Guys, he's an awesome channel, and he's an awesome individual. He's a great member of the VC. He's a kind-hearted, just great guy. Um, does a lot for the VC, um, and does a lot of. Um, has a cool video called um, Tipsy Tuesday, where he drinks a couple of beers um, and plays music and talks about music that he's listened to. Um, recently, um, he has a kind heart, um, man, um, I wish I could see, you know, I could meet him in person and we could, we could hang out and have a beer. That'd be so awesome, Aaron. Um, um he sent me, um, some VCLT recently. Um, I, there's a video on my channel. Um, if you guys are interested, you can check it out. But anyway, he's come up with this thread, um, with, uh, naming super your some of your super grails um everybody has grails i mean when i was a teenager i had records um that were stolen from me um so i lost a lot of albums um i had the 1979 pink floyd um that my parents got me for christmas i'd love to have another 1979 pink floyd is it my super grail no I mean, it's anywhere from 50 to 80 bucks. Um, maybe one day I'll pull the trigger on it. Um, I'd love to have Theater of Pain, Motley Crue. It was one of my first, I have no Motley Crue um, records anymore. Um, but Theater of Pain, I know to a lot of people, they don't like it that much. But for me, it was one of my first rock concerts. So Theater of Pain, Motley Crue has a special place here. Um, I... Um, I really like an album called Marillion, um, it's by Marillion called, um, Misplaced Childhood. Um, just, so those, those are grails, super grails. Those are albums that people will probably never get, but would really love to have because they're really expensive. Um, I don't have a whole lot of super grails, um, but I did write down a list. Um, I don't have anything to show. <clears throat> so, one of my one of my super grails, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> is by the band Sabotage, and it came out in 1989, and it's um it's gutter the album's called Gutter Ballet. Um, right now on Discogs, it goes for around 174, about 175 dollars, up to about 250. Um, that money can buy a lot of records, so yeah, I probably won't be um, buying that <laughs> um, anytime soon on record. Um, I used to have it. Um, I can get it on CD um, pretty cheap, so that's probably what I'll end up doing. Um, but um, yes, I would love to have Sabotage, Gutter Ballet. I, I like that album. Um, you know, there's a song like when, when the crowds are gone, um, gutter ballet. I mean, there's there's some great songs on that. Um, I really enjoy that record. Another band I liked um, is a band called Yellow Card, um, and the album is Ocean Avenue. I'm not sure how much an original goes for, but just a repress for this album goes anywhere from 120 up to 400 dollars. I've seen it on Discogs um, and eBay. Um, I mean, it's a great album. It's, it's like punk, punkish, um, rock mix. It's, it's just this really cool vibe. Um, and f for Canada pressing, it's, it's, that's the one that's $400. Um, so like I said, if a repress is between 120 and 400, who knows? I don't even know what the original pressing is. <laughs> Another one of my favorite bands, um, and some of you in the VC, is Dawes. 
and I'd like to have um, Nothing Is Wrong um, on on record. Um, and it, it can go anywhere from, I've seen it from 80 and on up. Um, so granted, that's not an expensive grail, I mean super grail, but it's hard to find. Um, and, and, and the ones that are cheaper are not in really good condition. So, um, but that's, that's definitely a, a super grail. It'd be a 2LP gatefold, um, and, um, has a song on there, a little bit of everything, um, which is, it's an awesome, um, song. If you guys don't know Dawes, go check them out. They're great Americana, um, I guess, in a way, singer, songwriter vibe, um, they're a great band, though. And my last one that I would like to get my hands back, get my hands on, that I used to have um, back when I was a teenager, was Man of War. Um, and the album is Hell to England. Um, it goes anywhere from 120 well, anywhere from like $75 up to around $200. I, I've seen um, stuff, but usually... It's generally between like 75 and 120. Um, and that's for Near Mint and um, VG. Near Mint on the, on the, meet, on the album and VG Plus on the um, cover. Um, so those are, my, those are my super grails that I could really think of that I would love to have for my collection. Um, like I said, um, you know, I used to own a... a um, couple of those already so um but anyway um go check out Aaron Mother Alomar's um um videos and his channel give him some support and um he's like I said he's um you need to add him um as as a subscriber um he's just he's just an awesome guy and Aaron I love you and thank you for doing this thread. Um, thank you for bringing me down memory lane on things I used to have and things I'd like to have. Again, Super Grail is a lot of money. So the chances of me, if I ha got handed $200 to go buy one of those Super Grails, um, it'd be hard. Um, because that would buy a lot of other records. Um, things that I've... I've grown um, to enjoy listening to and would like to um, put into my collection. Um, but maybe I'll come across them one day in the wild, you know? Uh, maybe somebody doesn't know what they're worth, and that would be super, um, pardon the pun. So anyway, Aaron, have a great day. VC, have a great day. Um, and um, I'll leave you with happy thoughts and um, God bless.